we're made up of 70% water, uh, and water holds energy. It's one of the mediums that hold energy, right? There's other substances that do that too, uh, like li little sugar pellets and things of that nature, but, but water is an incredible host of frequencies, good or bad. So the 70% water in our, in our bodies is part of this whole challenge of good health and positive emotions and positivity in general and, and, and just plain good health. So let me backtrack just a moment about the emotions, okay? Because then that, that, that all plays into that. The, 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 the water is really just a, a medium. It's sort of semi-passive. Whatever you put in it is what it's gonna hold. So if you put a lot of crap in it and a lot of negative energy, that's what it's gonna hold. If you do the opposite, then you're much better off and you know. But when it comes to emotions, uh, uh, there's a big component to it, uh, which I usually, you know, uh, unless there's some traumatic, there's certain traumas that are so severe they need to be dealt with uh, separately. Uh, but let, let's say anxiety is a big issue these days, it always has been, but it's, it's really over the, over the top at <laughs> these days. Uh, well, so, you know, a lot of these uh, mental issues in particular, you know, they're operated by neurotransmitters and hormones and such, and they again are managed by tons of different genes. And so let's say you have an, uh, someone has an anxiety issue and there's an underlying biochemical imbalance because of certain genes that don't function properly, whether it's, a, whether it's dopamine related or serotonin related or GABA related. Or, you know, even acetylcholine related. Uh, all the therapy and everything in the world is not going to have the expected result. It's gonna be very difficult, you know. While if you first balance or harmonize the underlying biochemical imbalances in the metabolism of these neurotransmitters, you have a much better chance of, these things are much easier to, to deal with and to remedy. The panels on the iMate, like you keep talking about, there's 25 panels essentially. Can you just explain the panels, particularly from the emotional component? Like, are there only negative emotions, or do you treat positive emotions? Like, well, <laughs> funny you should ask that. So, you know, uh, uh, one thing uh, that's fascinating about the iMate and the technology, and 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 which which is just mirrors life in general, is the boxes we're in, you know, uh, you really have to loosen up your mind about uh, judgment and about what you think you knew and, and, and emotions is one of these things, right? There's a neuro-emotional panel there, which is more uh, emotions that are related to physical pain, you know, like your back hurts, your neck pain, and just certain physical pains that are m mostly related to emotional issues. And on that panel, uh, what I learned is that so there's things on there like jealousy and um, greed. So the entire system of the iMate is set out and organized to achieve balance, right? So extreme highs are bad and extreme lows are not desirable. You want to be in the middle. Everything, If everything functions somewhere in the middle, everything is pretty good. So the same is true for emotions. So now you're doing a scan and jealousy or greed comes up extremely low. You know, you say, well, huh. How, that that doesn't make any sense. Like, is there a, a, a situation where there is not enough jealousy or not enough greed? And and over time, then you know, you I kind of sort these things out with muscle testing and kinesiology, and the body says, yes, I want to be treated for greed and jealousy. And I say, geez, how is that possible? That doesn't make you know. And I realize that my value system is just. It needs to expand. Uh, that greed is not just bad, and jealousy is not just bad. Uh, everything needs to be in balance, even those things that we associate as negative. And that, that uh, it's a big lesson to learn uh, to be less judgmental and just let the energy be where it needs to be, which may not always jive with what we have learned uh, so far in life.